guys, back again, and today it's the continue of On The Road, but this is now after the update, so we're going to see the difference now between update build and the pre-update build, so let's see what they actually did do. I figured do it straight after each other, guys, just because I'd be able to tell the difference at least then, and see if it's changed. If not, guys... Then, well, we'll see. We'll see. I know they're meant to have done small changes, so we'll see. They've got, well, I, I read that they put, like, mirrored in and this, that, and the other. So we we're going to find out, because hopefully they've changed the uh, steering and the lag a little bit. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'll do on mine. I'll do on mine. I can smell like roses or something. Different? Okay, well, guys, I can already see a massive difference in the sense of... What? Why am I in the middle of the road? I didn't leave it here. Oh, let's get moving. Oh my god, they want you to do everything right off the bat, don't they? Wait a minute. I... Now, as you can see, now it takes you up here. Fair enough. And it actually looks a lot brighter, guys, after the update. So, let's see what it's like now. So, they've added that up there. Which I didn't see that before. And, like, the cabin is really lit up now. Wow, yeah. They haven't added the reflection into the mirror yet, which I thought they had. So, yeah. That's different. I, I thought they had. The lorry even sounds different. Or is that just me? It kind of sounds different. Like, you can hear the... I think you can hear the road now. I actually can actually overtake things now. Hmm, the update has seemed to have done quite a lot actually in this tech in the texture department. I can see like bubbling now as you can see on the steering wheel, it's like you know the I like that. It's really bright in here now, unless it's a different part of the time of the day, I don't know, but it seems brighter in the cockpit now. Let's have a look at the outside. That's not the outside, dumbass. There we go. That's definitely... What the hell is that? Uh, yeah, let's just ignore that. <laughs> so... Overall, I think they've changed a few things on it. I still don't know what the mission is. And... I don't know, I don't know, it's still... Because this took, like, a few gigs to do this. There was 21 minutes to do this update. And I can see improvements, I can. But I still kind of... Like, there's no reflection in the mirrors whatsoever. The truck still does feel nice and heavy, but it actually feels a bit more responsive. Unless that's just me. But go back to how I was a minute ago, guys, to how I am now. I could actually kind of keep it in the, you know, whereas before I'd hit the barrier or side off the side of the turn like that. Indicator still sounds the same. So that's fair enough. Your lights are a lot brighter, or they seem to be. But you couldn't see them hardly in the daytime when I had them on last time. So, yeah. They've actually changed 
the hooter sound as well, or the horn, however you want to call it. Let's pull in at this service station and have a look around the truck itself to see how it looks. Oh, cool. So the actual wheels do stay turned if you have them turned. As you can hear, the closer we get, you still hear the sound of it pretty well. There's a lot of detailing to, like, the lights. <clears throat> They've actually done quite a lot of detail difference. Like, you can see, like, the grill now and, like, the under grill. See that R410 a lot better than what I could before. See the fog lights and the lights a lot better now. You actually see the tread in the tyre. The steps have got like a proper mesh to them now. I don't know, they seem to have done uh, a bit better with the textures. Even the tyres look nice. Oh look, we could open the doors. Holy shit, you might want to put some oil on that. Yeah. That is a noisy ass door. Right, shut the doors. Let's go. Oh look, I've got a proper truck stop over here, guys. Now <laughs> look, I've got this game as well. Autobahn Simulator 2, so they made that game as well, and that game's... Alright. Oh, <laughs> as well, that's <laughs> alright as well. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I say, look at the cargo doors. I know how to close them. Why are they not closed? Oh, they're not closed. I thought it was closed. I did close them. See, I did close them. Uh, oh, one still open. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it looks a good truck. If you look at the other trucks and all. Have they still got their air brakes? I'm actually surprised it's a solid wall there. I was surprised. Because I would have thought they were just like not bothered. You've actually got people back there. Yeah, it sounds pretty good, looks pretty good. You can see that they've done a few things. Like I said, I said I like it brighter. They seem to have made it brighter, which is obviously really good. They haven't fixed the popping bit yet, where the cars just drop out of the sky. But I'm not expecting big things. There's a big black spot that comes when you do this, don't know why. Does it do it? You look this way as well. No. You can see, like, there's no one driving my truck, okay? You can see, like, the suspension work. This is, a uh, pretty good detail. As you can see, you can see when you hit things, you can see the sway on the cab. Yeah, they've actually put quite a lot of detail when you think about it to this. I bet when I look there now, the yeah, still stays the front. I was going to put my lights on to see how good they look. Um, hang on. So, yeah. That's louder at the front as well. So, I said, you know, it's the small little details about people like what know what I'm doing. I'm just trying all the physics out pretty much, the details. Like the indicator thing, that, that way it moves like that. So, you just stuff like that. 
small little details make a game better, you know? You can see the way the handbrake even goes down, like the park brake, look. Uh, everything works, which is good. So, yeah. Obviously, I think, you know, they'll improve more and more with more and more updates. I don't know how far the updates will go with this game, because this is a really small company by the looks of it. I've never heard of them anyway. But I might be right, they might be a mega, mega company for all I know, but I've never heard of them. Aerosoft. But, yeah, there is some improvements, guys. There really is, but there's no mirror yet on mine anyway. He's breaking. Can we catch him up? Let's ram him off the road, shall we? Ooh. That worked out quite nice. Where is he? He's still back there. <laughs> Shit. So I'll just hit you off the road. <laughs> yeah, pretty good, guys. I'm going to have to start the game again from scratch anyway to uh, understand what I've got to do mission-wise at the moment. But other than that, guys, it's just a, it's just a matter of testing it at the minute. I just wanted to test it, you know, pre-update, after-update, just to see what it was. the difference was. And I can say, guys, you can actually see the improvement with the, with the update, so that's pretty decent. But I only wanted to make this one short, guys, just to do a comparison between the two. So I will be ending the gameplay in a moment on the updated version of the game and playing something else for now. But hopefully you guys can uh, see the difference like I could. So, yeah. Right, guys, I'm going to end it here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the gameplay of this. Like I said, I'm just trying to show off the difference between the first build and the, you know, the update. But, it's not for everyone, guys. So, you know, if you don't like this game, find a game on my channel, hopefully you do like. But if not, then, you know, can't please everyone, guys. Can't please everyone. But in the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.